Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a geometry tutorial to share with you today. We are using this book called Drawing Circle Images as inspiration for our Waldorf main lesson block on geometry and today we're going to work on ninefold symmetry. For this project I am using my 90 pound hot press watercolor paper by Fabriano. This is 9 inches by 12 inches. For this project you're also going to need a compass and a ruler. The first thing I'm going to do is eyeball the center of the page and make a small mark. Next I'm going to set my compass to four and a half centimeters and I'm going to draw a circle using that mark as the center of my circle. The next thing I'm going to do is reset my compass to 3.1 centimeters. I'm going to choose any point along the circumference and set my compass down and then I'm going to mark equal distances all the way around the circumference. It wasn't exactly right, so we're going to do this again. You want to make sure that you're really accurate and that each one of those marks has, is an equal distance all the way around the circumference of the circle. So I'm going to do this again, making sure that I am as careful as I can be. Again, it wasn't quite right, so I'm going to do this again. I'm going to reset my compass to 3.1 centimeters. I'm going to go to any point on that circumference, and I'm going to do marks all the way around the circle, making sure that I am extremely precise. And yet again, it wasn't quite right. So we're gonna give this another try. I wanna show you this process because it is really important, especially for ninefold symmetry, that you are really accurate. I've reset my compass so that it is twice the size of the original distance between two points. So I've set my compass so I skip one point and then that's going to be my new radius. And I'm gonna go around all nine points. Next, I'm going to take my smaller compass and I'm going to make circles around each one, one of those points. And I'm debating whether I want to do this because I wasn't crazy about the look at first, but once I did the whole thing, this turns out to be one of my favorite drawings in this entire series. I love this look so much. I'm using my Distress Re-Inkers as watercolors. I also have a little bit of Perfect Pearls, which is going to add a little shimmer to our watercolors. These are going to dry permanent. I'm also using some of my ink pads. I'm going to squish them down onto this acrylic surface and add a few drops of my Heidi Swap Color Shine so that I have a nice shimmer for all of these watercolors. Now comes the favorite part of my project and that's just seeing the design come to life depending on which pieces you watercolor in and which pieces you leave blank. You can also erase some of these arcs and you'll get a completely new design. I love that there are just an infinite number of possibilities depending on which colors you choose and how you choose to watercolor them in. You can also use color pencils and at the end I will show you another project that we did using ninefold symmetry because this goes along with our Waldorf geometry main lesson block that I am doing with my son. So this is the project that I did with him. He is on the right side working in his main lesson book. He is using color pencils and for this project I used a completely different pattern for water coloring in and you can see that the center part is quite dis different because I do have them overlapping on one another. And I think that if you use two primary colors and saw the secondary color come through it would be a really neat look. And that was my son's project. You can see how his turned out using color pencils. You can see quite a variety of options. If you'd like to see some of the other tutorials in this series, you can tap on the screen right now. Don't forget to check out the blog post that accompanies this video for more information and tutorials and pictures. And if you'd like to see how our homeschool is progressing on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.